good morning. This is a uh, video about something that I did not know existed. I happen to be, uh, well, just start out with, whenever I go to order something off of eBay, if I find something on a seller site that's not very big or expensive, uh, especially if it's from China, I will oftentimes go through the other items on their in their uh, auctions to see if there's anything I need that I just haven't thought of at the time. And in this case, I stumbled across this, and I didn't know something like this existed, and I wish I had found it years ago. And what it is, is a vein finder. And let me open it up here. It comes with uh, really bad Chinglish uh, users, user manual. Um, and the main reason I'm making a video is because all the videos for this thing on eBay. I'm sorry, not on eBay, on YouTube, are completely unhelpful. They show it, they kind of show how you use it, but nobody talks and they don't tell you anything ab about what it comes with or, or anything useful, which is typical. I, apparently the Chinese don't know how to market and sell things. They, don't, they haven't figured out that the more information you provide to people, the better your chances of people are buying it. So we'll, let's get this out of here. And by the way, this is a relatively inexpensive device. A, a professional one costs several hundred dollars and does exactly the same thing, but for way more. Um, so let's get this out. Let's get this out. And let's get this out. So, what this is simply is a ring of, it says infrared lights, but these are just red LEDs. And when I first saw this, I was skeptical that it, was, it would do what it said and didn't want to buy it without double checking it. And what I did was I just used two LED flashlights on my arm and confirmed that that did actually show the veins not very well but it showed it enough that let me know that this would probably work so um, to, here's the questions or the answers to questions that some people might have that are not clear on the auctions number one there's no battery in this thing makes it appear like it might be rechargeable and theoretically there is room in there for a, a battery maybe just barely uh, but there is no no battery in this thing so you have to have it hooked up to some kind of um, device it would have been better if they had used a standard plug and given you a longer cord but um, this does work. Um, this is just a standard one amp USB charger. Anything 500 milliamps or higher will work. This thing only pulls 140 milliamps. So I'm not even going to use that. Um, what I did was, and here's the reason I bought this thing. Um, I have hard to find veins and before someone starts yelling, you know, one or two of the people who actually watch this start saying in the comments that uh, I'm fat or something and that's why I don't have, you can't see my veins. It's not true. It seems to run in my family. My mother had very hard to find veins and while yes she was overweight, my father also had very hard to find veins and he was very skinny. Um, so, I have 
just very, it's very difficult. I've been to the whenever I've had to go to get my blood drawn, or I've had surgery or something. I've the phlebotomist comes in and I have to warn them that it takes. It's very difficult to find my veins, and I've even had one person get angry because they couldn't find them, like they blamed it on me or something. Uh, to make this portable, because apparently, even though these are out there, the average phlebotomist does not know that they exist, and so they end up poking and prodding and <clears throat> jabbing and rooting around in my arm for a vein when this thing finds it almost immediately. But to make it portable so I didn't have to try and plug it in, I, and I didn't have a power bank and I don't really want to buy one, I built one. I just used a two connector or a two battery 18650 battery holder. I used one of my really small miniature buck converters. So this thing outputs a maximum of 8.4 volts and that goes into the buck converter which converts it to 5 volts. <clears throat> and we'll just show you that here. And I've actually confirmed that this tester is off. It's off by about um, a tenth of a volt. It's a little. It's about a tenth of a volt too high. <clears throat> My calibrated bench voltmeter says that this is putting out 5.08 volts and this says it's 5.16 or so. So anyways, um, we'll plug this in and then it turns on. It only has one switch. And you can see it just puts out a ring of red light. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, how does this thing work? Well, let me lower the lights because that's a step that you do have to do. So, let me turn off this light, turn off this light. And let's go with that. Now let's see if we can do this. All right. So what you do is you just put this on your arm. And let's get some more light in here. I think this is that's a little too little. Let's see if we can see that. Not too bright. This is really difficult to do. I don't know if you can see that, but you should see a curved uh, vein. Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't show up. Okay, yeah, that's definitely, you can see it. And there's some small ones. Let me see if I can uh, set this manually, so stand by. All right, let's try this again. Very difficult to get my arm underneath here. <coughs> so there's one right there, if you can see that. I can. 
There's one right there. Right there. The most prominent one I have in my arm is this one. It follows a, a curvy track. Let's see the other arm. There's another one. Right there. So, whether you can see it or not, so as I was saying, whether you can see it or not on the video, um, I'll just tell you, it works. It works very well, and um, I almost got a little choked up when I started using it because I have been poked and jabbed and had people digging around in my arms when they would uh, need to draw blood and so I'll be taking this with me anytime I have to go to the doctor and they want to draw blood um, this is gonna go with me and uh, probably make my life a whole lot easier and their job a whole lot easier plus you know maybe they'll go out and buy one or something anyways I hope this is helpful to somebody thanks